I've never gone there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You see the tall guy with the glasses standing there? With the big mouth? He really is. <laughs> I'm sure. There's one guy in the room that has a bigger mouth than me, that's it. Who are you pointing to? Point again, don't name. say it out loud. Uh, I can't think of his name. Is that the uh, the glasses standing there, the tall guy with the gray hair? So no, no. While I was watching, while we, when I, as soon as I made the volunteer the portion, the guy over here? He was standing there, yeah. And he immediately told me I was an idiot or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Matt Kongair said I made the right play. So Matt Kongair must be an idiot too. So <laughs> That's the kind of idiot I want to be. I want to be a Matt Kongair idiot. Okay, we got the clock uh, set. All set. Two back to 32. Two away, six away. Funny, I know your take point, but not mine. So double me, I'll, I'll be very confused. Take this cube. It wasn't it wasn't an accident? Sure, I'll let you reconsider. All right. I had to warn you. Bill gave a lesson on this very thing, playing from behind. Right, uh, right. Let me get behind him and play. <laughs> <laughs> the name. I think you, you got to keep it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Justin wanted it this way, so he's a... I, I, okay. 
Would you rather be Phil than the score? I wish I knew how to play back in it. Let's look at this. Hmm. Looks good I, to me. I don't see how I could lose from here. Uh, looks good to me, Phil. Yeah. I, I miss my opinion. I don't see how I could lose from here. Look at this. That's, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want one you like even oh, better. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not asking for the world. Let's look at this. God, I'd hate it if you rolled a nine. I haven't hit you yet. Okay. That's about three games. Yeah. Well, you must have hit me once before those three I games. think I did. I think you did, too. This is better for the barrel. Called it too at night. Don't forget the recue.
we have one space open in blitz number 13 if anybody is out of the tournament and would like to play. We have one space open in blitz 13. like it. match. Played very well for your intellect. <laughs> It'll be hard not to. <laughs> very well done, Ed. Good luck in the rest. Right. Nicely done. So rooting for Malcolm the Loose. So how should I play the 4-3? Huh? Should I volunteer the A shot? I think so. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Just too ugly. Just too ugly to play it any other way. I had some timing. Yeah. No, we did have good timing, yeah. But if I... Uh, timing was worse. Yeah. I had a feeling. I really didn't know. I really didn't know. I knew I, I was pretty sure I was right to volunteer the double four the time before, and Matt agrees with me. So that's right. But this one I really, really wasn't sure. Hit the clock. You're losing time, Phil. Huh? you lose on time. Your clock's running. Yeah. I was hoping he might lose on time. I was, yeah. hoping, was, Ted, I was hoping Ed was aware of the time. I was aware of it. You were? <laughs> I was aware Yeah. Uh, do I know about your 6-3 play? Why? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, had, you hit loose on the ace, and then you got ace three from the bar hit two. Huh? Your 6-3 play. What? You hit on the ace point loose. Yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, big error. Uh, point zero seven. You wanted to play 13-4. Um, I, I was thinking this 
It's over. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's better to win the game by like 2%, but it loses like 8% more gamma. What about my 6-4 play where I just played quietly and stacked the checkers? It, it, it was right, wasn't it? I don't know. You don't know? I didn't see it. I couldn't, couldn't see hitting loose there. You rolled a 4-1 after it. Eva told me, Bob, I think Ed did something really weird with it, 6-3. Yeah? And I started explaining to her why Ed's play was right. I started explaining to Eva why Ed's play was right. Yeah. I said, okay, let's look at it. So, you're right. <laughs> so, if Malcolm loses, you're in the finals? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, really? That's that's the format we had in uh, okay. the Beltway. Yeah, that's and, cool. And the, and Malcolm unluckily drew. I don't think you're in the final. So I we did. We had the good draw. We yeah. played each other. Yeah. And uh, you call that Malcolm a good draw? Was, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I you play. wanted to be one of the two. I, Even you. Yeah, but I didn't I want to play you or Malcolm. John Rock, <laughs> I'd rather play one of those. Win. I'd rather play one of those losers you know, like Matt Cohen, Guy, or It's over. You know, you're yeah. at least you're in the finals. Yeah. So you're in the finals if Malcolm loses, and if not, you're playing Malcolm. It's got to be. He'd be the only other. Ed's in, a, Ed's in a good position. Hmm? Ed's in a good position. Ed's in a good like position. position. And I'm like any other schmo that's lost one. How about our who's well, well, playing? Who's playing Matt Cohen? You're one run better than you're one run better than me and Matt. One run better? And yeah. And the loser of, uh, you know what? Of Rockwell. I may as well I may as well lose the thing now since I didn't hedge with you. <laughs> we got no incentive to win because I can't give you all the money. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. Good yeah. match. You know, uh, I'm willing to be one of your teachers. I need the money, so you, you need Talk to an extra teacher. Talk to Perry. Actually, we don't. I'll tell you why. You ask, yeah, ask John. I don't, I don't have enough students to give up. Um, uh, right now, I've been giving, I, think I have, I can say, I have 65 students because I don't. Uh, and when I, when they get too good, or they've been, I have 42 lesson plans. And I got about 20 that are essential. And the other 22 are extra stuff like, you know, more esoteric stuff and going deeper. And the really good players who are, uh, really solid open players. I'll give them to John, Stick and Perry. And uh, none of them are anywhere near full. Part of the reason, though, is that Perry charges 100 bucks and he doesn't want a lot of students. And, and Stick and, uh, and uh, John are 75 bucks an hour. Now, John's gone back to work, so he doesn't want as many students lately as he had before. So, email Perry that I'm willing to. Yeah, email Perry. 60 bucks an hour. I'm, I'm, not, the, I'm not the boss. You know, we have a group. Of the four of us, and, I, and I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they're going to say no. Because they want more students. But we've been spending all this time together. We've, we've built a website. We have a Facebook page. We've been marketing. Why should